Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of nutrition. We will help you understand the role of macro and micronutrients, the importance of water, and how ergogenic aids can increase performance. Let's get started. Nutrition is a vital tool in the pursuit of maximizing performance and body composition and must be tailored specifically for the individual. Nutrients can be divided into two main groups. Macronutrients, which include carbohydrates, protein and fat, and micronutrients, which include vitamins and minerals. One of the primary functions of consuming these nutrients is to provide us with energy. The most common unit of energy used in nutrition is the calorie. A calorie is defined by the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water one degree Celsius. Resting metabolic rate is the amount of energy expended while at rest. This basically represents the minimal amount of energy required to sustain vital bodily functions, such as blood circulation and respiration. Carbohydrates include molecules of sugar in the form of simple sugars, complex sugars or starches, or fibre. They include foods such as bread, rice, potatoes, and fruit. Carbohydrates are primarily used as an energy source. When consumed, carbohydrates get broken down into glucose, where it enters the bloodstream. Depending on the demands of the body, it can either be instantly used as an energy source or stored in the liver or muscles in the form of glycogen, ready to be called upon for future activity. The rate at which carbohydrates are broken down and how quickly they raise blood glucose levels can be measured by the glycemic index. Foods that break down quickly and rapidly raise blood glucose levels have a high GI. High GI foods can cause hunger and fatigue due to a rapid drop in blood glucose shortly after the initial spike. Stored carbohydrates or glycogen are a key energy source for exercise. It is readily available to use, but storage is limited. So manipulation of carbohydrate intake must be carefully considered. Carb loading is a term used to describe an increase in carbohydrate intake prior to an activity, such as running a marathon or a long distance cycle race. Fiber is an indigestible carbohydrate that comes in the form of soluble and insoluble fiber. Soluble fiber dissolves into a gel that slows down how quickly the stomach empties and binds to blood cholesterol, reducing heart disease. Insoluble fiber does not dissolve and helps keep the digestive system clean and helps make you feel full for longer. Protein are the building blocks of the body that help create and repair tissues and structures all over the body. Protein can be found in foods such as meat, fish, beans and eggs and are made up of amino acids. Amino acids can generally be classified as either essential amino acids, which cannot be manufactured by the body, therefore must be obtained through food or supplementation, or non-essential amino acids, which means the body has the ability to manufacture these itself. Protein has three primary functions. To help build structures such as muscles, bones and internal organs to help perform functions through structures such as hormones and enzymes, and to provide fuel. Despite protein not being the body's preferred choice of energy store, it can still provide energy when called upon. Fat, despite some incredibly bad press, are an essential part of a healthy diet. Fats and oils belong to the lipids family and perform a number of important roles, including formation of cell membranes, protection of internal organs, production of hormones, transportation and storage of vitamins, and a source of energy. Triglycerides are three fatty acids attached to a glycerol backbone and can be divided up 
depending on their molecular structure. Saturated fats, which can be found in butter, lard and bacon, and unsaturated fats, which can be found in fish, nuts, olive oil and avocados. Consuming too much of any fat may affect performance and body composition. Fats are high in energy, but also contain lots of calories. Water is vital to any life form and makes up approximately 60% of an adult's body weight. Correct hydration can also have a huge effect on both physical and psychological performance factors. Benefits include increased endocrine gland function, increased liver function, increased metabolic functions, increased distribution of nutrients throughout the body, increased body temperature regulation, and maintained blood volume. Whereas the effects of dehydration include decreased blood volume and pressure, decreased sweat rate, increased heart rate, decreased cardiac output, decreased blood flow to the skin, and decreased concentration. Micronutrients are essential nutrients that maintain and support various processes throughout the body. They cannot be made by our bodies and therefore are needed to be consumed through our diet. Key micronutrients include vitamins such as A, B, C, D, E and K, minerals such as calcium and iron, electrolytes such as sodium and potassium, and trace elements such as iodine and zinc. Ergogenic aids refers to something that enhances athletic performance. There are a number of legal and ethical issues surrounding the use of ergogenic aids. Common ergogenic aids include creatine, which is a substance found in skeletal muscle stored as phosphocreatine, Increased levels of creatine can enhance the ATP PC energy system, anaerobic performance, and muscle mass. Protein, which although is an essential part of any healthy diet, increased protein levels can aid muscle mass and muscle repair. Caffeine, which is a stimulant found in drinks such as tea and coffee, caffeine can have a positive effect on the nervous and skeletal system, such as decreasing reaction time. However, too much caffeine can disrupt sleeping patterns and cause dehydration. Branched chain amino acids are three essential amino acids that taken alongside an effective workout can build muscle, decrease muscle fatigue, and reduce muscle soreness. Anabolic steroids mimic the effect of testosterone. They are primarily used to increase muscle mass, strength, and reduce body fat. They are, however, Banned from all professional athletic organisations and can give you some pretty serious negative side effects. Growth hormone mimics the body's naturally occurring hormone HGH and can help promote muscle mass, bone growth and recovery time after injuries. Use of growth hormone is still considered illegal in professional athletic organisations. And EPO, which mimics the body's naturally occurring hormone EPO and is more commonly known as blood doping. EPO doping stimulates red blood cell production to increase oxygen transport, and therefore increases aerobic capacity. Once again, this technique is considered illegal in professional athletic organisations. For more information on energy metabolism and how nutrition is used within the energy systems of the body and to help recovery, then hit the links at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website, www.sportsciencehub.com, for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.